today is all about collaboration and one of the key things we'd like to share with you today is how that we can sustain a safe, vibrant and also really compliant environment for the safety of our community. So today's focus is around that. Uh, we've got a number of key things that we'd like to go through with you. We have a number of representations from um, the Office of Liquor, Gaming and Racing, who will be giving you some up-to-date knowledge on what's happening in the sector. We also will have our presentations from our co-regulators, uh, being the City of Sydney, also New South Wales Police, uh, New South Wales Health, letting you know the up-to-date information you may wish to know about, certainly from a compliance and a regulatory platform. Uh, so look, I'd like to um, kick off by actually asking our very first speaker to come forward, and I'd really like to introduce uh, the Acting Executive Director, Rosemary Caruana. I'd uh, just like to welcome everybody today to this um, uh, exchange event that is one of four that we've, we've had across the state in um, New South Wales. And i um, just like to thank you for taking the time to, to attend this event. And I know some of you have um, travelled some distances to get here, so thank you again. Um, it is... Um, I will start today with a brief overview of how we, um, as a liquor regulator, are currently operating, including our no new strategic approach. Um, okay, um, our strategic approach outlines our vision, our mission, and the outcomes we strive to achieve. We recognise the need to balance responsible industry development with community expectation, expectations and harm minimisation. So in effect, there's, there's a juggling act that we're, 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 we're undertaking in that space. We understand that community expectations will change and can change, and the government responds to this through actions such as legislative change and compliance programs. Um, our sector, just to give you a quick snapshot, is, is quite a, a, a broad <coughs> sector. Um, we've currently got something like 16,000 uh, liquor licences across the state. So it, it is a fairly diverse industry and we're operating in a very complex in, environment. The licences range from small bars, bottle shops, restaurants to hotels and clubs. And it does make New South Wales um, the largest segment of the liquor industry in Australia itself. There are also almost half a million people qualified to serve alcohol within these venues. Okay, so um, our strategic approach, we have um, five main areas that we're looking at. The first one is to promote confidence in how the industry is regulated. The second one is to engage with and educate both industry and the public about best practice in harm minimisation. Our aim is also to support industry to meet regulatory obligations and to promote a vibrant and sustainable industry. Um, and finally, it is also to provide information and guidance. Um, and this will include any misconduct, wrongdoing and irresponsible practice to protect both the industry's integrity and the community's wellbeing. So how do we go about doing this? Um, we set policy direction for our regulated sectors. We advise New South Wales Government <coughs> on legislative change. We also engage in licensing and compliance activities, which is usually centred around a, a risk-based approach to compliance. We implement early intervention and awareness activities, such as um, your, the e-newsletters, um, a compliance approach to identify um, issues, educate the industry and assist with compliance. Then, to, if necessary, we will pers persist if there is non-compliance to a prosecution stage. Um, we also support and encourage initiatives and programs and educating stakeholders on their responsibilities, resources available to meet these and implement sustainable best practice initiatives are activities we undertake. Which brings me to today. Today's information exchange. Um, the main message we are hoping to deliver today is one of collaboration. And I think that's reflected by the um, various representation here at today's um, uh, seminar. Um, we continuously listen to our stakeholders and take on board feedback about key, key challenges and successes. The message is clear. We can achieve far more working together than we can alone. The information exchange event aims to deliver in four key areas. An enhanced knowledge of best practice, 
sharing successful liquor accord strategies and innovations, communication and networking opportunities, collaboration between industry, government and community. I hope that you enjoy the day and wish you every success in making new connections and working together to implement local ideas and real solutions. Thank you.